undefeated Thunderstud. Show him your deck. Thunderstud here. Showing you a deck that revolves around a skill that is probably one of my most favorite skills in the game. I'm, I'm gonna keep going back to it constantly and that's luck on your side. So, I've combined it now with Ancient Gear, and uh, what that means is I put in a Gear Reactor Dragon and three Gear Town. What that lets us utilize now is Unending Nightmare and Twister, which we're utilizing the negative, the pay life points aspects of them to help us get our life points down to luck on your side. So Unending Nightmare can really drop a lot of life points for you. Twister also, they also help against the mirror match when you're fighting other ancient gears. You can make their gear town miss the timing. And then to really finish it off is cybernetic fusion support. This is pretty much a core in any luck on your side deck because it's just, it makes getting under a thousand so easy. It cuts your life points in half no matter what you're at. So like I said, three gear town. Then we get to the actual luck on your side cores. And that is Cup of Ace, which, you know, flip a coin if it's heads, draw two cards. We get one Sand Gambler over two uh, Time Wizards to fully utilize the effect of Proton Blast. So Proton Blast is a really spicy card. It's pretty interesting. So it gives you a different effect depending on what coin results you get from other effects. So let's say I flip a cup of ace which flips one coin and I get up one heads. I inflict 500 damage to my opponent. Two coins, say from a barrel dragon. Flip two coins, get two heads. I get to destroy a card on the field and inflict the 500 damage. Then three coins with let's say a blowback dragon or a sand gambler and I get to discard a card from their hand destroy one card and inflict 500 damage. So it's a very strong card once you are actually below luck on your side. It also has a second effect where you can banish her from the graveyard and retry one of your coin flips. And uh, yeah, then Blowback Dragon, he's a one tribute. Same thing as Barrel Dragon, except he can target any card. And then Dry Gumo, he's also great. Whenever you declare an attack, you have to guess a coin flip. If you guess wrong, you lose half your life points. So that's pretty useful in getting your life points down. And he's a 2200 2, beater, so it's pretty useful. And uh, this, this is surprisingly consistent. Just when you're able to plug in the Ancient Gear mechanic and destroy it, it's, it makes your deck that much better. So I hope you guys enjoy the replays. Thanks. So with luck on your side, you always want to let your opponent attack as often as possible. You could potentially set cybernetic fusion support, let them attack with like a 1600 and then, or pop it first, they attack, you're below 1000. Pop it in like the damage phase of the attack or something. Okay, so here's a pretty good hand, obviously a gear town and a twister gives us a reactor dragon right out the gate. Does not take our normal summon, so here comes Dry Gumo. Canadia two hour reactor dragon, that's okay. He's just he's just accessory to the deck. I actually tribute him for blowback dragon. Use his effect, it hits, you only need two heads. Destroy Sandman, attack for 2300. Quackineer obviously places face down, seems to be bricking. Blowback Dragon, miss. Normal summon the Dry Gumo. He gets hit with a Floodgate Trap Hole. Floodgate Trap Hole triggers his Canadia, and he's getting monsters on the field. So now I attack with Blowback Dragon as a face down Earn Knight. Dead. His turn cards, activates the diamond core, you know what that means, the more Maximus. So it puts him to attack, that means you know he's really going for it. Here comes Maximus, Maximus kills my blowback, that little dude attacks me. Now this is what's great about luck on your side, people don't usually see it coming. So he brought me right within range of luck on my side. So think about what I've done, I've lost uh, Reactor Dragon, 
two monsters over 2,000, and I'm about to get started. Even just pull a dead card with Cybernetic Fusion Coin. So I activate the Cup of Ace, the skill, act, the skill activates, draw two automatically, get to summon my Barrel Dragon, his effect is going to activate luck on your side, kill the Maximus, swing into Paleozoic, he's down to a top deck mode. Summons Sandman, probably hoping I don't have another monster. As you can see, I do have another monster. I think I draw something I can use anyway. Put down a Gear Town just to be um, something in my Twin Barrel, and he scoops. So, so much going on with that deck. Like, lots of different ways to come at your opponent. They don't really know what to expect. It's pretty fun. So, Twin Barrel Dragon is one of my favorite cards. I remember when I first started, he was the first card I was religiously buying from the card trader waiting to get, and I would put like three Twin Barrel Dragons in every deck, because he's just so good. A 25% chance to just kill a card when he comes out. It was just so good. And 1700 was like a good beater back then. He was, he was a good beater. So, you know, 25% chance to kill any card and you're a normal beater. It's, it was too good. Had him in every deck. So here we're fighting a dinosaur user. Tries to wall us off with giant Rex. Gear Town into Unending Nightmare. Destroy it. Don't use Twister. Here comes our Reactor Dragon. Attacks into the Giant Rex. We do not activate its effect. Here we go. So we're down to 3,000 life. He banishes our Reactor Dragon. That sucks. Uses Mausoleum. I chain an Envy Nightmare to Mausoleum so he doesn't have a chance to use it. Stop his Mausoleum. Lose another 1,000 life. Activate my unending nightmare. Chain my twister to my unending nightmare. See my life points? Under a thousand. That's in his end phase too. So super fast, super useful. Now we're ready to go. I got my coin guys. Pull into a cup of ace. Draw two. Luck on your side. Let's see what we draw. Another unending nightmare, but we get dry gumo. Jump in with him. He has a Sphere Karibo. We still have to call the result. We call heads, of course, so we're right. And his turn. Only two cards. Summons a Wing Karibo to swing over this big old spider. And he does. So here, I really try to think about what I wanted to do. I just set my Time Wizard. I felt it was safer. Switches doesn't attack the Time Wizard. Activate Proton Blast, use Cup of Ace. That was probably a mistake. You don't get to choose with Proton Blast. It chooses for you what effect it uses. So here, I Tribute. Bring out my Blowback. I don't get the effect of Proton Blast, as you can see. So that's kind of a kind of a misplay. Had I waited till I got my Blowback Dragon to use that, I would've got all three effects. I'd've been discarding cards, as you're about to see. So I'm like a turn behind. But I still keep doing it. So use the effect. Three heads. That gives you Proton Blast. Discard a card. 500 damage. It was a Wing Karibo again. One more turn. Use this effect. That triggers Proton Blast. Discard his last card. He had all these uh, high monsters, he was going to get out with Mausoleum, but we killed his Mausoleum actually. So we just drained all his resources. And it does another Wing Karibo. Can you believe how bad Wing Karibo is stalling us right now? Sets one face down. Use our effect again. It's a Canadia. Of course, we're able to flip right back up. Proton Blast hits him for another 500. Some of the twin barrel, no target for his effect, and we win the duel. Don't even flip him back up for some reason. And yeah, luck on your side. Pretty fast, pretty crazy with ancient gears. So you've seen this deck fighting Kawaki Miru. Sure, he didn't draw it daily, but it's Kawaki Miru. And uh, here you'll see it fight another very 
high tier deck and that's Buster Blader. So it's not just memes exactly. And when you put it in the ancient gear, it's got a little more teeth, it's gotta take it a little more serious. So uh, it's it's really cool. You guys are about to see. Not the greatest when you pull your reactor dragon in your hand. But it's gonna watch, we're we're gonna utilize it in a different way that we don't often probably, so. Tons of cup of ace waiting for us. Set our cybernetic fusion support. See that it's Buster Blader, DNA surgery. You're gonna give us some trouble. Here's Proton Blast, doesn't that look awesome? It's a barrel dragon. Unending Nightmare. That one looks creepy and sad. He's summoning a King of the Swamp and attack. Here I was really scared. I thought for sure he was gonna attack with King of the Swamp and then bring out a Dark Paladin. I was like, what the hell? No, we're okay. They used Unending Nightmare. Bring those life points down. Kill that DNA surgery. Now, I thought I was done. I was gonna hit Unending Nightmare to myself and then he changed his own DNA surgery. Would have been nice if I would have hit that one too, but it doesn't. Use our cybernetic fusion support. Lose just the right amount we need. Here's one cup of ace, plus two. Two cup of ace, plus two. So now, activate our proton blast. Now this was a tough decision to make. We're bringing out our twin barrel dragon. With proton blast, with the two heads, we're gonna be able to destroy two cards. Destroy one card your opponent controls when you hit two heads. And that's his effect too, destroy one card your opponent controls. So, we're gonna destroy two cards. Which two do we get? We know this is a fusion. The whole time I'm getting a delay, as though he could do a fusion. So, I want him to pop the fusion so I can hit his fusion monster with the proton blast effect, because you won't be able to chain like you will to the twin barrel. So I aim for the DNA surgery, hoping he steals my twin barrel and makes this monster. He does not do that. Let's see what happens. So I aim for that. Takes forever to decide. Does not chain anything to it. Hit his fusion. Now he's stuck out there. Attack him with that. He's down the three points. Field. Search is a Buster Blader. Ends his turn. Now here, we just tribute for our Ancient Reactor Dragon. How? Thanks to Gear Town. When it's face up, tribute summon them for one less. So now we just summon into him, attack and win. That easy. So I really like it with this Ancient Gear deck. It's so much fun. I'm probably going to keep playing it and see how it works. 